move my rig at time, but a smile and a gentle silent tongue appease his wrath. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the wonderful feast of a blessed woman, a mother, a wife, and a fantastic mystic. She is none other than Blessed Anna Maria Knight. First of all, I wish you the greetings of the day. Anna lived a heroic life in the areas of a mother and a wife. Anna Maria was born in Italy on 1769. She got married to Dominic at the age of 30. Anna and Dominic had seven children and three died early in life. Anna had a special love towards the poor and ready to serve them. Anna Maria entered into the Trinitarian Third Order in the year of 1808. Anna Maria is known in the Order of the Most Holy Trinity and of the Captives as a visionary mystic. Anna Maria Taiji died on June 9, the year of 1837 and she was declared blessed in the year of 1910. Dear friends, reading about this wonderful saint, I was taken up with some of the points in her life that which really illumined my heart. That's what I would like to share with you today. First, she lived a heroic life as a spouse. Second, she loved her family. She lived a heroic life as a spouse. As we all know, Dominic was a good man with moral piety, but his manners was rough and uncultured. He was slow to understand, he was stubborn. Even out of this, they could make a perfect household, a perfect family. Even though Dominic was like this, Anna Maria Thaiti was sensitive, responsible, gentle, quiet, and having a smile always in her face. For Anna, her life was like a lamp that is taming her wood. Through her humility and knowing her place and taking her place, she succeeded in taming. One of her oldest children used to say, My father had a rough character. My mother would have repented to marry such a person, but she was always glad that she married. Secondly, she loved her family. She was a committed woman in her responsibility as mother and a wife. She was there at the service of everyone in the family. She never had a complaint in her life. She brought up her children in Christian values and faith. She was ever ready to help the people who comes to her. Even when her children or husband call her for a need, even she is in a busy schedule, she would come to their need. She never hesitated in order to send away those most honored people in the society who comes to her house in order to seek her counseling. For her, the prior duty was to serve her family. Dear friends, the life of Anna Maria Thaji really challenges us today. Most of our families in our world are selfish characters. Everyone is looking for their personal benefits. Let's take the example of Anna Maria Thaji. When problems, difficulties, suffering, and misunderstanding was there the family she kept quiet and always smiled. Let's all model her values in 
in our life too. May the intercession of Anna Maria Thai be with us all today. Amen.